Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick back from One More Cast. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk through how to foil a fishing lure, and more specifically, how to foil a crankbait. So this was actually brought up by one of my subscribers, James, who just put in a comment on one of my videos if I had ever done this before, and I hadn't. But once he put that in the comments, you know, I started looking it up, and I actually realized I had all of the materials to do foiling myself, in my house. And so just with some ducting tape, foil tape, I can show you how I'm gonna foil some fishing lures and it actually comes out pretty cool. So stay tuned and I'll walk you through how I do it. Okay, so the only two things you need to foil a crankbait is, of course, some foil tape. Um, you can pick this up pretty much at any hardware store. Um, I'll leave a link down below to where you can find it online, but it's pretty, pretty easy to source. Second, I'm using just one of these acrylic uh, brushes that I've used for finer details on baits, but really what I'm doing is I want this end because I'll show you how this really gets a really cool pattern on the foil once we apply it. And of course, you'll need your crankbait or whatever fishing lure you would like to foil. So this is a 2.0 sized crankbait and that's what I am going to be foiling today. And lastly, you'll just need a pair of scissors to cut the foil tape, um, both to get the length down, but then also you're gonna need to cut it in a couple different ways to make sure that the foil doesn't overlap and that it lays down nice and uh, even. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your foil tape and your lure, size them up, and then cut out one or two sheets of the size that you wanna do. I'm just gonna do two sheets just because we can prepare for both sides right now. You can set that away and now you have your foil tape. As you can see, it just has an adhesive backside. It's really, really tacky. Um, so it sticks on there really nice and smooth. So after you cut out your side pieces, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your bait again, and then you're gonna wanna wrap this foil around your bait and start getting an idea of where you want the foil to go and then what you're gonna need to cut off in order to foil both sides with minimal if any overlap. And so what I'm trying to do is I want this to be essentially centered up on the lateral top and on the bottom to really just foil one half of the bait um, on each side. So I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna see what I'm working with. And what I've thought is the best plan is after I kind of get a pretty good shape going, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna start cutting while this is still on the bait so that I can really see where it is on the lateral line and just holding it there. I'm gonna do both the top and get rid of this and the bottom. And that gives me a good first rough um, sketch of what I want this to look like. I think I'm gonna have to take a little bit more off this back. And then I'm also going to need to cut the front to make sure it can get around that bill. So it kind of just takes a couple iterations and a couple tries to make sure that you're gonna have this, um, the exact right shape and uh, the right coverage. So I'm gonna do a couple more iterations and then I'll come back when I have the right size. 
Okay, so now I have a size that I think is gonna look good on the bait, and this is where it gets pretty fun. So what I'm gonna wanna do is take the foil off the backing. And we wanna be careful for it not to roll because it has a tendency to wanna roll onto itself and then it gets all messed up and you're gonna have to start over. So you're gonna wanna take this and you're gonna wanna set it on the bait, being careful to make sure you're setting it exactly how you cut it and so it sets down as you want it. So at this point, you basically just wanna take your fingers and then smooth it out. You're obviously gonna get a lot of these little wrinkles, but I'll show you how we deal with that in a little. So just going with your fingers, just trying to set it down so it has a nice firm um, tack with the bait. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna take this brush or anything that's kind of, you know, um, cylinder. So you could take a pen, you could, you could pretty much take anything you want. This part doesn't have to be, you know, an acrylic brush. It can be basically anything. I just found this to be the best used so far from what I saw in front of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this flat edge and I'm basically going to just go over all this foil and try to smooth out all of those seams and having a really big emphasis on all of the edges. So making sure all of the ev edges are pushed down really nice and flat and they uh, have a really good kind of contact with the bait. can see that things are a little bit more smoothed out and that it's kind of more firm and pressed down onto the bait and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this kind of concave tip and we're gonna start going over some of these areas that have some definition so up through here making sure that everything is nice and compacted down and then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to turn this on its side so we kind of have an edge and we're gonna wanna go over all of the bait outside. I like leaving this kind of gill portion alone because you'll see when I turn this to the side and I rub the foil, it's gonna give it kind of a ribbed feel, kind of like uh, what the scales on a normal fish look like. And so you're gonna hear the kind of ribbing when I go over this. And what this is doing is just pushing that foil onto those natural lines that were on the bait itself and it just gives a really cool feel. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And there you go. Now this bait is uh, half foiled, what we would do is we would just do the same thing to the other side. If you have any questions at all that I didn't go over in this video, please drop it down below. This entire video was spurred off of a comment that I received on one of my videos, and I make sure to read and I try to respond to every single comment that I get, so there are no stupid comments. Please put them down below if you have them. And again, James, I appreciate you for commenting about this because without that, I really probably would have never um, thought of, to do this on my own and or would have taken me some time. So thanks again for that inspiration. So I just finished foiling the other side and I did a really quick painting pattern on this guy. And this just gives you an idea of what this lure looks like after it's completed. So you can see it really has a nice shimmer in the light. This does not have clear coat on it just yet but I have cleared one foiled bait so far and it actually adds even more of that glass foil look and just really came out great. So I'm really happy with this and I'm definitely gonna start incorporating it into some patterns. 
So I hope you liked this video. I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can foil your own crankbaits and or just how you can customize your own fishing lures because really that's just what this is about. It's just putting the process in your own hands and not really relying on what's available out in the market. If you're new to my channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. I come out with a couple videos every week focused around fishing and my adventures with that. If this video helps you at all, please hit that like button. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and until next time, tight lines everyone.